Okay, so I just found these sprites on the internet and I thought I'd do a tutorial on making um, simple characters through sprites. So, this is basically just what it is. It's a picture of um, Home Simpson running. It's just eight images, one after another. And when you play it, it should look like that. My frame rate's not very good on Hypercam, so it might look a bit retarded. But, this is basically how you do it. So, what I did, you create a sprite, you can call it sprite player or whatever, um, edit sprite, file, create from strip. So, what you need to do, you need to download some sprites off the internet, or, or you can add from strip, so that's just basically what this is. You type in here um, the number of images that are all together that you want to copy. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So type eight. And how many images are there per row? Well, there's only one row, so all eight must be on the same row. So there. And it automatically knows what to do. But if you want to copy, um, scroll down a bit. Take this with this. You want to copy more than one row if they're not all on the same row. Like Homer rolling. Here he is at the bottom. If you want to do this, you just basically read what it tells you to do. So there's a number of images all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen images. And how many images per row? Well, there's seven images per row. So type seven in there. And it automatically knows to give you two rows with seven on each. Then you change the image width. I'll set it to about 50. And that's not big enough. Set it to about 100. So this is basically just trial and error. Just getting it to the right sizes. I'll tell you an easier way to do this in a minute. Well that's quite good actually. Um, image height about 50. No, double. Make that about 80. That's quite good actually. I think I might copy those. So, just you can just do that. Okay. So that's basically it. That's, um, then if you got some little bits here like a head you can go in zoom. there's this little tool that steals the colour like and then you can just get the pencil and colour over the top ok so you just go in all the images but sometimes I find that they're all a bit off because that one's in the middle that one's at the side so what I do I just go file, add from strip. Create from strip is when you do multiple ones all at the same time. Add from strip is just one by one or two by two or whatever. So what I just do, oh by the way all credits to um, awesome CAS. This is the man who ripped all the sprites or the woman. So thanks for ripping these for me. Um, so you basically click to get this box. Um, what I like doing, I just do one by one like that. And I make sure they're all in the middle. So, um, say, about 45. No. This is just trying to get it right. 30, and then, I don't know, 40. Yeah. 80. Okay, so that's one. Okay, make sure it was in the middle line. Okay. Then file. Add from strip. This is the same one. And it's remembered the size. If it doesn't leave a comment, and I'll tell you what the problem is, it should remember it. So you just go like that and just keep adding them. 
if one's a bit off like this I'll just show you add from strip okay if one's a bit off like I don't know maybe if you're doing larger ones it might be a bit off to the side I'm just going to exaggerate this so if you show preview it's looking good until he wobbles a bit what you do you go in and there's this little button called transform and you can shift you can move it across as however much you want then if you still got a bit left over here just fill that in and then you're still moving up and down so you can also just go in zoom cut and paste you can always do this just do it until you get it right and when you've got it right it should look a bit like this hopefully it's bright preview might not look as good as the same high cam frame rate's not that good so thanks for watching after this you make it into an, like oh by the way you just make it into an object um, give it the sprite and you can make it so sub images I might do a t tutorial later on about sub images so we just stays on one image rather than going through all of them until you press the button so that will be my next tutorial probably thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe